Over half a million people use Sharesies, making it the most popular investing platform in New Zealand. It's got some really exciting features that most people don't know about, like that it gives you a high interest savings account of 4.6%, lets you take full control of your KiwiSaver, and even helps you save money on your investing taxes. I'll be showing you the top five things that you need to know to help you maximize all the features that Sharesies offers. Firstly, Sharesies lets you buy fractional shares of a company, meaning that you don't have to buy one whole share of a business to start investing. If you look at a company like Apple, which is valued at 170 US dollars, that's almost 300 NZD, a lot of people don't wanna start investing that much money and it can put them off because they think they have to buy an entire share of that business. But you can just start with $10, that's all you need. You can buy just a percentage of that business. Thinking that you need to buy whole shares of a company is a common misconception that a lot of people have and it's what I thought as well. Thankfully, Sharesies lets you start with just a few dollars. There's no minimum investment amount because they're really trying to bring down the barrier to entry and help anyone get started with investing no matter how little or how much experience that they have. Secondly, taxes are a common problem that a lot of people associate with investing. Thankfully, Sharesies makes this very easy and straightforward. It gives you a detailed breakdown of all the tax information that you need, like your dividend payments, the profits that you've made, and the different companies that you've invested in. Now, the best thing is that roughly 90% of Kiwis don't have to actively do anything or fill in any paperwork to get their taxes sorted. Now, I'm not a licensed financial advisor or accountant, so doing your own research on this is going to be the best thing, but just to give you a rough breakdown of some of the tax obligations that you can have, the first one is if you get a total dividend payment of 200 New Zealand dollars or more, from an overseas company. It's not 200 New Zealand dollars per company, it's the total amount. So you couldn't get a dividend payment of 200 NZD from Pepsi and then another one from Disney. Those are two really good companies that give a high dividend payout, but you gotta remember it's the total amount. There's also a lot of questions if you have to pay tax, if you're a trader, if you're quickly buying and selling, jumping between different businesses. Now this is a bit of a gray area. There's no set timeframes, like the same way that you have the bright line test for property, we have to hold on to the house for at least 10 years, otherwise you might get capital gains tax on it. There's not set timeframes when it comes to the stock market, so again, always make sure to speak to a licensed financial advisor or a tax accountant to make sure you get any of your questions answered. IRD has a bit of a blurb about this on their website, but again, speaking to a professional is going to be the best thing for you. Now, I can't give you advice on this. I'm just a physio, so if you rupture your ACL, come and talk to me, but otherwise, you need to speak to an accountant. Thirdly, KiwiSaver is something that Sharesies is now bringing to its platform. It's not currently yet available, but you can register your your interest on the website. At the moment, it gives you quite a detailed breakdown of the different funds that it's going to be offering, the fees they charge, the management that's going to run them and how much experience they have, and it shows you the portfolio of investments that each fund is going to be made of. Whether it's bonds, overseas investments, property, all these kind of things are all showed on some detailed financial reports that I'll link below in the description box. Picking the right KiwiSaver fund is really important. You can see there's a huge difference between a cash fund and a growth fund in the long term and how much money you're gonna have available for your retirement. If we take a look at someone who's 20 and invests in KiwiSaver for 45 years and puts in 10% of their income and has an average salary of $50,000 the whole way through. For a cash fund, in those 45 years, they're gonna have $365,000 versus with a growth fund, they're gonna have 681,000. So again, a massive difference depending on where you put your money with KiwiSaver. So picking out the right fund and having more control over it using something like Sharesies will be really helpful to maximize how much money you're gonna have in the long run. Some of the different growth funds that Sharesies will offer through the KiwiSaver scheme are the smart shares, ethical and overseas growth funds. Sharesies will also offer a high interest savings account of 4.6%. Now this is really competitive with a lot of banks who can also provide 
high interest savings account that are above 4% but normally there's a few hoops that you have to jump through like with Westpac it will offer a base interest rate of 0.9% and then at the end of every month if your total balance is up by $20 then you'll get some additional interest and that's going to bring you up to a total interest amount of 4.3%. Hopefully sharesies won't need as much effort to get you that high interest savings amount. It does look like the interest amount is subject to change and it's calculated on a daily basis if you read the fine print on the website. Currently, it looks like the interest rate is gonna be paid out on a monthly basis. And if you're getting 4.6% interest, that's over double what the average interest amount is from a regular bank, which is normally about 2.2%. This feature is currently not yet fully available and you can register your interest on the website. And the final point is the modules and emails that Sharesies provides. You can sign up to a weekly email newsletter That'll give you a breakdown of what's currently happening in the different markets, whether it be New Zealand, Australia, or America. It will spotlight some interesting companies and give you a breakdown of their financials to give you a bit of an idea of some new potential investment opportunities to think about. And it will show you any new updates or features that Sharesies is going to be bringing out, like the KiwiSaver scheme and the high interest savings account just to keep you updated on all the changes that are happening with the platform. There's also some modules on Sharesies as well that'll give you a breakdown of some of the different investing terms that you might often hear, like what an ETF is, a market fund, the difference between the New Zealand and American stock market, which is just a good way to find your bearings and start figuring everything out, which can be a bit overwhelming when you're a beginner. So having an easy to find hub for all this information is really helpful. So lastly, some key things to be aware of is how to properly use the Sharesies platform, from how to make an investment, the best companies you should be buying, and the best investing strategies. To find all of that and more, check out this video on screen that'll give you a full breakdown of the Sharesies platform and how to best use it. Remember, if you find the content helpful, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel. If you're not yet signed up to Sharesies, check out my referral link down below in the description box that'll give you a free $5 when you sign up to the platform.